If you're anything like me, you have a vision for yourself and for the world. You can feel this potential inside of you. And along the way, it has felt like this potential is so hard to actually bring through and create things in the world. I used to struggle with this a lot. And it can look in different ways. You know, maybe you have motivation at the beginning, but then it just starts to fade. Or you take three steps forward and two steps back. Or there's just so many ideas that you have and you just don't know which one to start with or how to make them happen. As a clinical hypnotherapist and integration coach, I've helped hundreds of people with this, as well as myself, <laughs> for many years. Um, and some people can be quick to say it's just fear of failure, but that's not what is always to blame. There are about five things that I help my clients shift before they are able to feel this consistent flow of motivation and focus, and most importantly, enjoying the process of bringing their visions to life. The first thing, it's kind of obvious, it's lack of clarity around your vision. So if you don't have clarity and everything just kind of seems like a general sense or a feeling of what you want, but you don't know exactly what it is, this for sure is going to be hard to bring into life, right? And this is, of course, a natural progression to refining the vision as you go, but there's certain things that will help you to get the clarity you need in order to move forward. I'll make another video on that later. Number two, I'm a hypnotherapist, so obviously we're going to talk about limiting beliefs. What you believe you can achieve, what you believe you are capable of, or what you don't think you're capable of, what you believe is available to you or not, there are so many limiting beliefs that are all in the mind that are not facts about reality or facts about you. And these things really get in the way of our goals. This is where you're going to find self-sabotage, perfectionism, distractions, imposter syndrome, low self-worth, self-doubt, and all of these things will absolutely slow you down. And to be honest, this is like 80-90% of the work. If you get this stuff cleared, you are going to have such an easier time moving forward and building trust with yourself as you progress and as you learn and grow, as you're moving towards your vision. There's so much I have to say about limiting beliefs. I have a hundred videos on YouTube already about that and there will be more, but I'm going to get to the other three points. Number three is overwhelm. Overwhelm usually comes from having a lack of priorities. If you have too many possibilities or too many projects, your energy gets pulled in so many different places that you don't get enough momentum going in any particular direction. It can be tough to focus your energy effectively and this creates a sort of paralysis feeling. One really cool thing that uh, analogy that I learned about priorities is this idea of having a jar and having big rocks, marbles, and sand. Big rocks are your most important priorities. Marbles are your medium priorities. And sand is just the stuff that needs to get done, but it's not your highest priority. If you put the sand in first, like most of us do when we're just like putzing around, doing like little things all day long, filling up all of our time. If you put the sand first, and then the marbles, there's no room for the big rock. But if you put the big rock in the jar first, and then the marbles, and then the sand, everything fits. And this has been true, very, very true for me, that when I've put my biggest priorities first, that everything else still gets done. It's just the order that I do them and the weight that I give them. There's so much I could say about this one too, but I'm going to get on to number four, which is the thing most people think of when they wonder why they're not moving forward, which is the fear of failure or the fear of success. If you have the fear of failure, you're not even going to put yourself out there. It will absolutely stunt your motivation. You will even feel tired. Like I have heard like so many of my clients say, we're like, oh, I'm just so tired. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. And after we clear their fear of failure, 
they suddenly have all of this energy, like nothing else in their day changed, nothing in their food or their habits or exercise or anything changes, just clearing this fear of failure. They thought they were exhausted and tired. They were actually just protecting themselves from having the energy to move forward in case they would fail. It's crazy what the mind can do. It's so powerful. And on the flip side, there's also the fear of success. If I'm successful, what if I then lose it? I have more to lose. If I'm successful, will people expect more from me? If I'm successful, will people treat me differently? If I'm successful, what will my family think? Am I going to have to give it to other people? Or if I'm successful, like in or even in a relationship, like if one person is growing a lot and the other person isn't, there becomes a gap. And so there is a real fear of like, if I actually get this thing that I'm visioning, that I see for myself, that I know is alive inside of me, what am I going to lose? My life is actually going to change. We say we want change, but the reality of everything changing, your relationships changing, the potential of people treating you differently, that brings up some real fears. And number five, this is the one a lot of people focus on first, but actually, while it is really important, I would say it's a small, small amount that if you've done steps one through four and you've gone through those things, then this piece is going to be so epically supportive for you. But if you haven't done those things, this thing might not work. And number five is having systems for support and accountability. And the reason I say that is because you can have a perfect system. You can have the perfect morning routine. You can have an accountability buddy. But if you've got all of those unconscious patterns sabotaging your success, this stuff is going to be so much harder. The accountability, the morning routine, all of that is just going to drag. However, when you've got the clear vision, the clear mind, the self-belief, and a clear path ahead of you, then having the right systems and accountability will just catapult you forward. This, you know, I every leap I've had in my life has been when I've had really great accountability. And it, it can be accountability with somebody else. I've had mentors, I've been in different um, like incubators and uh, masterminds. I've had, you know, accountability buddies going to the gym and like, you know, that makes it more fun and there's the, you know, social component to it. But I also have just had accountability with myself. So like I said, this is like a very, very small amount, but when you do have it, it will take all of your other work and just catapult it. I wouldn't say to put all of your energy on this, but I would say when you've put your energy on the other things, when you put your energy here, it's going to explode. I know that can seem like a lot to figure out on your own. And I don't recommend that you try to do it on your own. It can be a lot to navigate through, especially when you're getting into like deeper emotional and subconscious patterns. It's so much easier to do when you have powerful support. And that's why I created Motivation Incubation. If you have a vision, a project, a business, or a new habit, something that you want to make forward progress in, then this 40-day Motivation Incubation is going to hit the easy button for you. This isn't just about accomplishing your goal. This is about giving your body in in your nervous system a new experience of what it means to do what you say you're going to do and be the person you know you are on the inside this is something that actually takes training like we think we're just gonna have an idea and then suddenly be able to do it but if we have past memories of not always doing what we say we're gonna do that stuff gets recorded you know we start to lose confidence a little bit or lose our mojo. So the 40 day motivation incubation is going to help you rewire your nervous system and most importantly, your subconscious mind. It's going to help you to gain a new muscle. Like we are literally going to be rewiring patterns, addressing some of this deep emotional root stuff and giving you tools to relate with your mind in a way that you become like your mind becomes your best friend you know how to operate with it to get your mind and your body 
to work together to move forward to do the things that you want to do. This is what I've used to reliably accomplish so many goals in my life. Anytime I want to learn a new skill, like I learned how to DJ last year, learn how to play guitar a couple years ago, like learning new dance moves, um, growing my business, r- having a daily writing practice, learning and developing my skills to better support my clients, uh, even my having a daily fitness routine. Anytime I've like had a new habit, like I've used this process to help my body and my nervous system to take action reliably and I have tremendous focus and uh, great ability to make things happen in my life. And let me tell you, it has not always been that way. I grew up with a single mom and I didn't have any discipline. No way. Didn't matter what time I went to bed, if I missed school, if I did my homework, like none of those things mattered, which I thought was pretty cool at the time. But as an adult, I very quickly realized that I had no concept of discipline or accomplishing goals and self-motivation was like non-existent. And actually it wasn't until I started helping other people and learning what worked for my clients that I realized, oh my gosh, I I didn't even realize how much my relationship to taking action was impaired. Like I didn't have that muscle. I also didn't even know that I didn't have the muscle. And when I started helping my clients in my hypnotherapy sessions, they started getting such powerful results. I started using those tools with myself. And let me tell you, I mean, I already did, but (laughs) it's a muscle that once you train, you, you start to create a new groove. And that new groove is a new memory and it's a new muscle. And the more you flex it, the stronger it gets. And so this 40 day incubation, uh, motivation incubation is really about creating a new relationship to how you take action and how you move forward in life, developing the mindset, the emotional healing and the nervous system so that you can do that, not just for the 40 days, but you're going to like recondition your body and mind so that you can use the tools that we'll use in the um, 40 days for the rest of your life. It's the same things I use year after year after year. Like anytime I just need to get really focused, I use these tools and I'm so excited to share them with you. So if you desire to accomplish goals, manage your time better, feel motivated, feel inspired, see progress, get more done in less time, you'd be crazy not to join us. This isn't just a goal accomplishing container for 40 days. It's actually, like I said, something that's going to be completely rewiring your relationship to how you take action. And why this matters to me is that this has helped me repair my relationship to myself, to be able to trust that I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do and to really be in alignment with who I feel that I am on the inside, that potential. And then my reality, it gets closer and closer and closer the more often I do this. So I'm absolutely so excited to share this with you. And I'm going to be doing the process right along with you. I'm so excited. This is such a powerful way to rewire your brain and basically everything you want to do moving forward in your life. Um, And I'd love for you to join us. So come to thelivingnarrative.com. I will put the link in the description below. And if you have any questions, send me a message or let me know in the comments.